These are the craziest Gardner Pan Pan animations ever. We will watch the sad origin stories of Chamataki, the Jester, and more. Stick around for a mind-blowing story where the Gardner Pan Pan gets infected with EXE. Let's go. This is the sad origin story of Nab Nab. Run, Pan Pan. Run faster. Some of us barely have legs to run on. <laughs> Whatever it is you're doing, do it faster. <laughs> Papilla, you're the fastest of us. Try and find an exit. Oh. Ah, I better lose him before... There. No. <laughs> and to think, you had me outnumbered. What happened? You were perfectly normal earlier. You were just like the rest of us. Just like the rest of you? I wish! Why are you doing this? People and things like you are the reason I'm doing this. This is crazy, bro. So Bam Man's like, why are you doing this? Because Nabnab was oofing everyone. And he says, you're the reason I'm doing this. Let's see why. I've been treated as an outcast my entire life. And I'm not taking it anymore. I don't understand. Well... Allow me to explain. Okay. I felt like a freak my entire life. Even before you turned me into this. I've always been a loner. A reject. A weirdo. No one to sit with at lunch. No one to play with at recess. No one picking me in gym class. Always alone. And then, as if things weren't bad enough at school, my parents were fighting pretty bad. Man, this is sad. So this is the sad origin story of Nab Nab. That's Nab Nab before he was Nab Nab, and everyone picked on him at school, bro. Exactly, guys. So we're gonna learn how this boy went from a human into the Nab Nab monster. My parents were fighting pretty bad, and eventually, my parents got divorced. My dad and I ended up moving out of state. New house, new school, new life. I missed my mom like crazy. But for a second, I was hopeful. Apparently, I was going to a really nice place called Ban Ban's Kindergarten. No, bro. So he moved away. He left his mommy, and they're going to put him at Ban Ban's Kindergarten. No. Oh, no. They only took the best and brightest kids. I was determined to have a fresh start. I was going to show up and be the cool new kid in town. But of course, right before my first day... I had to get these giant bug-eye glasses. My cool factor tanked already. I should have known things wouldn't change. That makes no sense, bro. Guys, what are they saying? Now, glasses are very, very cool, guys. If you guys wear glasses, that is lit. If you don't, that's lit, too, bro, guys. Bro, he's saying that his cool factor tanked. Yeah, we do not have cool factor, but it's not because of glasses. Can't tank if we never had it to show. <laughs> yeah. To get these giant bug-eye glasses. My cool factor tanked already. I should have known things wouldn't change. It looked like I was destined to be alone. But at least at my old school, people just didn't know I existed. Now I was actually being bullied. <laughs> Sorry, four eyes. I begged my dad to let me be homeschooled or leave or something. But he said I'm a big boy and big boys can take care of themselves. Man, he's a big boy now. <laughs> That's not cool, bro. That guy who's being mean, let me just say something important, bro. Yeah, guys, listen up to this. Listen up. Meanies are weenies. Yes, guys, if you are being a meanie, that is not cool. Never be mean to other people. But do go to Walmart and Target and get Lanky Box merch. Bruh. So I kept my head down and dealt with it. And the worst of it happened. On my birthday, I tried to have a small party. But I knew no one would come. And at that point, I preferred it that way. If I was by myself, no one could make fun of me. Except me. But to my surprise, someone did show up. Hey, four eyes! Oops, did I blow out your candles? I guess that means I get to take your wish now. Let's see. What do I want? How about I wish for you to get a friend? That's the only way a dork like you will ever have one. Man, oh! that's not cool, bro. If he wanted a friend, he'd go to Walmart Target that like buck butt. Exactly, guys. Exactly. But don't ever be like this guy. Don't just walk up to people and say all this mean stuff to them. This guy is, this mean guy is a weenie, bro. Yeah. I thought about what my dad said. Big boys take care of themselves. So I decided to stand up for myself. Oh man, 
Looks like I can't call you four eyes anymore. Three eyes will have to do. That was the most humiliating day of my life. I begged my father for real this time. Please don't make me go back. I tried standing up for myself and it didn't work. But of course he made me stay. What's wrong with Josh? Sweetie, have you seen anything lately? I mean, my glasses are half broken. Nothing out of the ordinary though? No monsters? Monsters? Never mind. Everything's okay. Go get back to class. Something wasn't right. Josh was the scariest guy I knew. If something spooked him, it had to be bad. I never really found out what it was though, because suddenly my dad changed his mind. He pulled me from school. Apparently a lot of parents did the same. After whatever happened to Josh, they all cut contact with the kindergarten, and the truth about what happened never came out. Wow, so all the kids at Bam Bam Kindergarten started going crazy because they saw the monsters, bro. They saw Bam Bam, Bambolina, Slow Celine, everyone. Uh. I went to a new school after that, but nothing changed. Nothing ever changed. I was destined to be a loner, and so I embraced it. I graduated and moved out to be on my own, got a job where I could work from home, and I never had to suffer being in public again. No more bullying, no more name calling, just peace and quiet. But of course, I'd never be able to forget everything. Those words lingered in my head for years, and every time they came back, I got angry, and then I would wonder what really happened. Local man who has been missing for three weeks, still yet to be found. Apparently, I wasn't the only one wondering either. Somehow, I knew where he went. I don't know why I went back to the kindergarten to find him. Why would you do that, bro? He just went back to Batman's kindergarten at 3 a.m. Why would you ever do that, bro? Guys, keep watching. We are about to see him turn into Nab Nab. I have a bad feeling about it. To face my fears, to see what really happened that day, I'm not sure, but I went. The place was littered with painful memories. It was almost too much to bear. I can't do this. I gotta go home. Looking for something? <gasps> hey, yo, he just ran into Jumbo Josh, bro. Uh oh. <laughs> I should have left when I could. <laughs> Another success. Who or whatever this thing was kidnapped me and transformed me into an abomination. It turned out the now-closed kindergarten was full of these monsters! Ah! I was horrified at first, and then I was excited. I finally wasn't the only outcast anymore. We were all freaks! Oh my goodness, they just transformed him into Nab Nab! Oh, so this is the origin story of how Nab Nab became so evil. Maybe I could finally have friends. But everyone had been transformed so long before me. It was like I was a new kid at school all over again. Just like when I was little, all I could do was watch the fun from the sidelines. And finished. Uh, what about me? Oh, I must have forgot. I'll fix it. There. Is that better? Oh man, that's messed up, bro. You know what's crazy, bro? Everyone picked on Nab Nab when he was a kid. Everyone's me. And now, even though they're all monsters, they're still picking on him. Dude, look, the bird drew a nice picture of everybody, but when they drew Nab Nab, they drew it <laughs> like Adam draws. Exactly, guys. Make sure you be nice to everyone because you never know when that might be not lit. Thanks. They never, ever included me. It's like I was cursed. Even among the freaks, I was a freak. No one wanted me around, so I decided to stay out of their way until... Is he running off again? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, classic Three Eyes. That name. That name awoke all the rage that years of loneliness has stored within me. Three Eyes! Even as a monster, I couldn't escape it! And I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> No! Hey, what is he? Run! 
That's why you went on this entire rampage? Because of a dumb nickname? <sighs> it's more than that! It's years of being outcast! Excluded! Treated like I'm nothing! You're not an outcast. We're all happy to have you here. Liar! You! <gasps> oh, there's Jumbo Josh! He tackled Nab Nab. You let go of me! Why should I, Three Eyes? You started it. Jumbo Josh, you have to defeat him. You're the only one strong enough. <sighs> Jumbo. Josh. Three Eyes! You did this to me! What did I do? You made me like this! You bullied me! You kept me from making friends! You named me Three Eyes! That was... you? Of course it was! And now you must pay! Oh, I'm sorry! What? I said I'm sorry! You're... sorry? Ever since I've become an outcast myself, I've regretted how badly I treated you. Wow, guys, so Jumbo Josh the human was the one who picked on the human nab nab, bro, and he said he's sorry, bro. Wow, guys, so always make sure to say sorry if you think you're doing a mean thing or you're in the wrong. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I always hoped that you'd forgive me, but now I see I haven't changed at all. All I did was make your life worse all over. What's so funny, man? This is the moment. Stop, bro. That's how Adam looks at his mom. <laughs> oh, now Nav's crying. Adam makes that face and goes, Ooh. All I did was make your life worse all over again. And I'm sorry. What's your real name? I guess it's Nab Nab. I forgive you, Josh. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> no! Now, Stinger Flynn is like, oh, they're doing a race? There's no Jumbo way. Josh on the bicycle. I got one like that. It's a lick. Who's gonna win the race, guys? With Bambolina. It's like Mario Kart, but with Garden of Ban Ban. They're all laughing at Jumbo Josh. Go! Hey, yo. Yikes. Go, Jumbo Josh, go! What the? Huh? He's gonna grab them? <laughs> that's cheating. Oh, that's how he won. That makes a lot of sense. This makes a lot of sense. Okay. These guys are really fast. Okay, it's Bambolina. Who's gonna win the race, guys? Who's gonna win the race? Uh, this is so <laughs> What? She powered up. What are you doing, Bambolina? Jumbo Josh, it's Jumbo Josh. It's raining. Bro, this makes so much sense. It almost makes a dollar. <laughs> oh, they play Mario Kart through banana. I hate when Adam does that when we play Mario Kart. <laughs> Captain Phil's in the lead. Nope, now Bambolina's in the lead. Okay. You oh. got a flat tire. Uh oh. Jumbo Josh gonna come in. He's gonna win. Okay, there's Bambolina. There's Who's Jumbo gonna win? Bambolina versus Jumbo Josh. Oh, it's, oh, it's going to put out the fire. Uh-oh. She lost the turbo boost. Jumbo Josh wins it. Wow. Nice job, Jumbo Josh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? Yo, they mixed the Garden of Batman characters. Oh, it's merging. Oh, okay. And they're dancing. Okay. Wow, I like this music. You can dance to it. Oh, they're doing the dodge meme. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> they mixed Stinger Flynn and Jumbo Josh, bro. No way. This what is, is so going, cool. What's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> these videos just so, I, just so we're clear dude adam found these videos okay adam loves doing the dodge meme dude do the dodge meme dude do it do it yeah there you go yeah, there you go this is lit dude let's go okay now this is silent steve the new character from garden of Ammon, chapter three what it's a girl version of silent steve no way dude no way dude what is this oh that's actually really cool bro Okay, who's next? It's Ban Ban. Is it a girl? Plus, oh, oh, they're combining. Plus the bird plus the tilka. 
What's that gonna look like? What is this, bro? What is this, bro? Oh my goodness! Wow! A Pila band. It's a band band chocolate. <laughs> now we got Silent Steve. Plus? Stinger Flame. Now guys, Silent Steve is a new character from chapter three. It's pretty crazy. Yep. Uh-oh. Okay, what is this equal? Tentacles? Yo. Tentacles? Yo. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Bambolina! Bambolina. Bambolina. This is a secret video, guys. This is crazy. Bambolina plus Jumbo Josh. What are they gonna look like? What is this, dude? It's gonna be a giant Bambolina. Yo! Buff Jumbo Bolina. Buff Bolina, bro. <laughs> and she got the bow tie. Okay, we got Captain Fiddles. I like how he walks. We got Captain Fiddles plus Bam Bam. What is this gonna look like, dude? No way. <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> Wow, nice! <laughs> that was lit! <laughs> this is the sad origin story of Bambolina! Bro, it's the end of chapter two! No! Oh, Bambolina's chasing! Hello, handsome! Uh, hello! I wow, guys, now we're actually gonna learn the origin story of Bambolina! And as a huge crush on Bambolina! I right? don't! No! Hello, handsome! Uh, hello! Oh! I think you might be snooping around places you shouldn't. Please, let me go. And why would I do that? If you do, I'll leave and never come back, I swear. Liar, I know your type. Well, uh, if you're not gonna let me go, what are your secrets? My secrets? <laughs> I'm not sure what you wanna know. Oh, bye. Since you ask, as a child, all I wanted was to be a star athlete. Bro, that's baby Bambolina. Got it. So we're gonna learn how this girl got transformed into Bambolina in this video. Bro. I had the talent and drive to be one. I was a track star, a baseball star, and a volleyball star. Bro. So she was super athletic. She was good at every sport. She was a track star. You know what I mean? Hey guys, that's lit. I mastered every sport I could to achieve my dreams. I was the pride of our school's athletic department. No one could beat me. And eventually they stopped trying altogether. Growing up, I always felt like my dreams would come true. Unfortunately, one day, I learned the hard way that it rarely ever works out that way. Whoa, whoa! Oh no! Ah! Uh, someone uh, help me! No one even knew I was out there. I was too hurt to get up and I was sure no one would come looking for me. Until out of nowhere, the school nurse found me. She saved my life. I was injured pretty bad. Of course, I needed more help than the school nurse could provide. But she carried me all the way to her office because I couldn't walk. Wow, that's really nice of the school nurse, guys. That's awesome. So she helped her. She was playing sports and she took a tumble or fell. She got injured, bro. Wow, she got carried just like you guys should carry some Lanky Box merch in Walmart and Target and get it. Let's go. She took care of me until the ambulance arrived. But it turned out that the injury was too bad for me to continue my sports journey. I had to give up everything I'd always dreamed of. I was heartbroken. Sports were my one and only passion in life. Though, in a way, I became inspired. The school nurse saved my life. And if I couldn't be a star athlete, I wanted to be just like her. So, I went to nursing school in hopes to do for others what she did for me. Wow, that's cool. So, guys, this is the sad origin story of Bambolina. That's Bambolina before she was Bambolina. So, she wanted to be an athlete, but then she got injured, and the school nurse took care of her, and now she wants to be a nurse. That's pretty cool. Nursing school in hopes to do for others what she did for me. And the perfect opportunity arose. A local kindergarten hiring for a school nurse? It's exactly what I was looking for. It almost felt too good to be true. <laughs> Silly me. If only I knew then what I know now. But not knowing any better, I went to the kindergarten for my interview. And that's where I met him. In that moment, everything changed for good. Hello, I'm Ban Ban, the founder and principal of this kindergarten. It was love at first sight. Oh, oh Brent! Dude, doing? that's crazy. What are you doing? Why'd you do that? 
Why I do what? Why did you do that with your hair, dude? I'm not. I just. I. I don't know, man. I don't. <laughs> I don't wish his heels bad, bad, because then Bambolina would love him. <laughs> Stop, guys. Why'd you do that, bro? Stop. Whatever, 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 man. I just wanted to try she, your hairstyle. She loves Bam Bam. Adam, how does that make you feel, dude? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's find out it's what okay. happened. Principal of this kindergarten. It was love at first sight. Ugh. Everything about him was perfect. And I knew we were meant to be. Hi. I'm, uh... Hi, I kind of bombed that interview, but I was the only applicant, so I got the job by default. And even if I got off to a rocky start, the parents and children took to me right away. While I appreciated all the love, it wasn't exactly who I wanted it to be from. Oh, my beloved Ban Ban. He still had my heart. Bruh, I, don't, I know this is hard for you to watch, buddy. I know, I'm, I'm getting sad even just watching this here with you. Cause yeah. Adam has a huge cut on the Abelina. It's a little bit of a blow. This is Adam's diary. To my heart, guys, but it's okay. This is Adam's diary. I know I don't really have a chance. This is so Adam's it's diary. all right. Hey, wait a minute! Adam, Stop Adam, doing that! Adam drew himself holding hands with Bambolina. Listen, I, listen, Adam. All you gotta do is become like Bam Bam and then she'll love you. Right, right, exactly, right, guys. Right, right, right. I don't, right. Right. <laughs> I was determined to have him. Somehow he ignored all of the signs. I bought us breakfast every morning. Here you go. I picked up extra just for you. Wow, you're the best friend a guy could get. <sighs> Bro, she got friends on my man, man. That's crazy. I have got friends on by his own mommy. Now guys, my mom has been saying that I am down bad. Yeah. No, I've been saying that. You're down bad. I don't know what that means, but something feels... It means you're a oo-woo <laughs> baby. It means you're a oo-woo baby. I don't, know, I don't know, guys. Your mom taught me you that. You gotta just swing at every pitch yeah. and you never know what might happen. Yeah. Just for you. Wow, you're the best friend a guy could get. I wrote him inspirational notes. Look, I know why you're upset, but there's no way something like that could have happened at my school. There's no monsters here. What's this? Bro, said you're doing great. <laughs> wow. She wrote that for him, Adam. She must really care about him. Man. Yeah, it's it's tough to see this, but it is what it is, guys. Don't yeah. give up, Adam. I was close. I had a chance. You still got a chance. Yeah. And finally, I got more direct. Hey, Ban Ban, would you wanna come for dinner tonight? Why, of course I would. Really? Yeah, my friend's in town, he can come along too. It will be all of us buddies hanging out. I thought I was being pretty clear in my intentions, but eventually I realized, despite all my efforts, it wasn't meant to be. I was heartbroken. My dreams of sports fame had been ruined long ago, and now my dreams of true love also seemed impossible to obtain. I felt lost, abandoned, was wrong, too tight? Can I tell you something? Of course. I saw something the other day, and it scared me. There was a strange door at the end of one of the hallways, he said. He'd never seen it before. A heavy metal door always stuck shut and locked, but one day, it was open. And being a young kid, he was curious. So he walked in. Uh oh. Nah! He told me he saw monsters. I told him it was just his imagination. But what came next? I don't know how he could have made it up. Oh. Hey, yo! Ah! Run! I hoped he just imagined it. But I had a bad feeling. Because the next day, Marcus's parents pulled him from Ban Ban's kindergarten. And he wasn't the only one. One by one, Ban Ban's kindergarten became a shell of its former self as children kept leaving with no explanation. Dude, that's crazy. So that person went down the wrong hallway and they saw someone getting turned into Jumbo Josh. That would make me so scared. <laughs> Ban Ban! I know you're in there! I'm busy. Come back later. Ban Ban. There's something seriously wrong. We need to- I said I'm busy. He was no longer leaving his office. I had a feeling he was hiding something. 
I hated to betray my Ban Ban, but if he wasn't going to help investigate, I'd have to do it alone. So one night, I took matters into my own hands, and I broke in. Thankfully, coming in early and leaving with Ban Ban every day, I'd figured out the lock combination. And strangely enough, Ban Ban left his door unlocked, but I wasn't complaining. I took the master key. I had to find this door I'd heard about. <gasps> oh no. No. No, no. Well, there you go. No monsters after all. No. Oh, no. this thing is pretty creepy. Now, now, manners. <laughs> no! No need to be afraid. It's me, your Ban Ban. You are not my Ban Ban. What, what, what happened to you? Allow me to show you. What? I should not jump on my ankle, but I guess I have no choice. That's the obby. <laughs> no! Ban Ban, I don't know what happened to you, but you're still the same Ban Ban I knew. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? I'm watching the I'm video, man. I'm trying to watch the video. Why turn back and you got your hair like that and you're doing this? I'm watching the video, man. Dude, stop. Let's keep watching. What's wrong with you, man? That's how you feel inside, right? I keep playing. All right. Whatever. All right. You're good at heart. You love people. You, you love children. You have never let me get hurt. So pull me up and we can talk about this. I knew you'd come around. Ban Ban, what are you? Let go of me. Hey. Let go of me. Bruh. It was too late for me. I know now what the kids had seen and it was happening to me. I fought as hard as I could. Bruh. But Ban Ban was too strong. Ah! Ew! But if he did that to you against your will, why would you want that to happen to me? Let me just say a true thing right here. Let me say a true thing. Stop <laughs> trying to be Ban Ban. Stop it. I'm not. I'm not, dude. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a huge cuss on Ban Ban. Just because she likes Ban Ban. Let me say a true thing. Whatever. This right here. This right here. Uh-huh. Adam wishes that was him. <laughs> he does that in his room, man. He makes. I, I'm about to say a true thing. I caught him in 4K. <laughs> he made a Bambolina out of pillows. And dude. he did that. He put himself up against the wall. No, I didn't. And he did the thing. Man. I did to himself, man. Stop! Adam did that. We caught him in 4K. We that was in 4K. Did, we were there. We recorded it. You said you were filming that in normal resolution, yeah, not man, 4K. Man, yeah, it's 4K. Oh, Foxy! Yeah, Adam was there with the pillow bambolina, bro, doing this, bro. Dude, whatever. That's crazy. Keep, keep That's watching. Crazy. Keep watching. Adam admits he did that, dude. And he's trying to look like me. I'm not. I'm not. This is just how I have my hair nowadays. Like you said to him, you wanted to help people. You're good at heart. That was then. Now I've grown fond of this new body. And besides, it means I get to be alongside my Ban Ban forever. He did save my life after all. And what more could I want than that? Look, if I were you, I'd take a hit and get over him. Huh? Oh. Huh? Ah! Ouch! What? Uh oh. Yo! Whoa! Okay, it's the pink bird. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, it ate that! It ate its own eggs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a golf ball. You can't eat that. No, it's not an egg. So it'll eat anything. It's eating everything that looks like an egg. Don't eat that balloon. <laughs> he wants the balloon things as an egg. <laughs> That's not an egg, bro. <laughs> Bruh. Mud! Stop! Whew. That was a decoy. Look at that little sass. He thinks it's fake, it's not. This is the sad origin story of the pink bird school from Garden of Ban Ban. I'm not sure where the Ban Ban gang hid the kids, but we must find and save them. <gasps> Who's that? Hmm. It seems she belonged to the Ban Ban gang.
Whoa. Hey, yo. Are they gonna fight? They're gonna fight. Dabbing, bro. He's creating a whirlwind. It's Mommy Long Legs versus the Pink Bird. This is nuts. Hey. This is insane, guys. Bruh. Oh, oh, bro, the dodge. Hey, yo. Wow. Mommy Long Legs got out. This is nuts, guys. Hey, Jumbo Josh, that's not fair. It's 2v1. Whoa. Oh, but Boxy Boo's here. He's fighting Pan Pan. Is he going to battle again? What? Yep, yep, it's Bam Bam versus Boxy Boo. To be continued, bro. This is the sad origin story of that pink bird. Watch out! Bruh. Uh oh. Bruh. Run! <laughs> Bruh. Oh. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, what is this place? Look what we have here. <gasps> Who are you? I should be asking the very same question. I used to go to this kindergarten, I think. Oh, you did, did you? Then you must remember me. <gasps> what the? What's going on in this place? What are you? And what was that freaking bird thing that was chasing me? Oh, our dear Apilla bird. She's certainly memorable, isn't she? But you know, she wasn't always this terrifying. Bro, so that girl was someone who used to go to the Garden Band Band, and now she's asking who the bird is, man. Wow, we're gonna learn how that girl is gonna transform into the pink bird. What? Apilla was actually a human once, just like you are. She was? What happened? Now, now, I'm not going to spoil all the fun. Papilla was actually this kindergarten's very own art teacher. Yes, she was a wonderful instructor, great with children, even though she herself had a less than ideal upbringing. Wait, what? This person turned into the pink bird? Kind of looks like me, bro. Now, wait a minute, guys. Go to Walmart and Target, get Lanky Box merch. I'm a little bit sussed out, to be honest, because I think this person might be Justin's twin sister. This might be a little bit saucy. Yeah. You see, Apilla didn't exactly have many friends growing up. She always seemed to have a hard time making friends and was treated like an outcast. And the few companions she found in nature were often shooed away by other children. Don't do that. They were relentless. Always putting the pillow down, laughing and calling her awful names. It was so bad, in fact, that she often was forced to eat her lunches alone in order to avoid the unending bullying from her classmates. Which meant she spent a lot of time in the school's abandoned art room. And while she was still lonely, at least here she could doodle and just be herself without fear. Man, that's real sad. So everyone at school's picking on her. She's got to eat lunch by herself. That's like me in real life. Can you imagine being a meanie? Dude, don't be meanies, bro. Everyone in these stories always be meanies, bro. Meanies are weenies. Yeah, a little bit louder. Better to be a weenie than to be a meanie. <laughs> Look at this guy. Do that again. Do that. Just do that. If there's meanies, just do that. <laughs> <laughs> and show up! Say, meaties are weenies! Being secluded in that room meant that she had a lot of time to practice her drawing skills. Every day, over and over and over again, her parents became increasingly concerned about her lack of friends, so they decided to get her someone to talk to. So her parents said she didn't have friends, so they got her a bird to talk to. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> At last, someone to have a conversation with who wasn't going to ridicule and humiliate her. Uh, would you want to look at my drawings? I, um, I think you might like them. The two hit it off right away. I think we're going to get along real nice. Quickly, the bird became her only true friend. And for once, Apilla felt happy, though unfortunately, it didn't help her at school. The countless days spent in solitude were wearing on her. Whoa, this is actually kind of good. As it turned out, Apilla was turning into a very good artist, an amazing one even, until one day, 
She decided to enter into a drawing contest at school with all of her classmates. A pillow was so nervous of what the others would say, but she actually won. She decided then and there that this is what she wanted to do with the rest of her life. And she did everything possible to make her new dream of being an artist a reality. Wow, that's awesome, man. She got so good at drawing, she won an award, bro. Now, this is even more sus because both the girl in this story and Justin are really good artists. I draw all the time, bro. We're gonna put a, a picture on screen of a drawing that Justin did just yesterday. Sometimes I draw a uh, bambolina because I don't got big pressure. <laughs> Then one day, tragedy struck. Apilla's annoying cousin Kevin moved back to town after spending some time away at boarding school. He also had an interest in painting, so their parents thought it would be a good idea for them to spend some time together. Birds? They're so lame! What? Birds are lame! Birds are lame! I like birds. Yeah, well, they're stupid and ugly and annoying. They're not even good pets. <laughs> Take that back! Fine! You're stupid and ugly and annoying. Yo! Media alert! Media alert! Weenie alert! Someone was not listening earlier. Wee -oo, wee -oo, guys, wee -oo. Guys. That guy, Kevin, is being a giant meanie weenie, bro. Everyone at home, just go like this and then go like this so you can listen close to what Justin's about wee -oo, to say. Wee -oo. Meanie alert! <laughs> Weenie alert! Weenie alert! Weenie alert! You know what I mean? Meanies are weenies! Yeah, guys, don't be a meanie. This is so sad. For the dude. first time, Apilla decided to stand up for herself. She wasn't going to take this bullying anymore, especially from some punk like Kevin. Hey! What the heck is wrong with you? Look who's ugly now! That's it! You're gonna pay for that! Fly away, little guy! <laughs> A pillow waited all day and night for the bird to return. But it was long gone. And from that day, a pillow and Kevin were arch enemies. Unfortunately, they were the same age and went to the same school, so it was impossible for a pillow to avoid him. He made her life miserable, picking on her every chance he got and encouraging the others to pile on. Plus, they both were still interested in painting. So they constantly were around one another in the art room, too. They were both working on a big project, a design for the new mural to be painted on the side of the school. Whoever's drawing was selected was given a prestigious award, one that could get you into any art program in the country. They both wanted it more than anything. But while Apilla seemed confident in her work, Kevin struggled to come up with any good ideas of his own. So he decided to take hers. Apilla waited weeks to hear back about her design, but she was never contacted. Then one day, she realized why. Kevin? What are you doing? Th that's my design! Oh, really? Because the judges told me you never submitted one! Huh? What? Wait! Did you... Ah! You stole my design, you jerk! Oh, yeah? Prove it! for this. Don't know how, but he will. And that was Apilla's final straw. Her devotion to her art was so strong that it led her to do something she'd regret later. Bruh. What? How could this have happened? She felt a rush. This was sweet revenge for what he did to her. Unfortunately, she was eventually caught. Apilla was expelled for vandalizing the mural, while Kevin went on to a prestigious painting academy. He became very successful, while she was just a wannabe artist who- <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm watching a video here! <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm watching the TV! <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I had pepper Mom, on my milk said, this morning. Cover your mouth when you sneeze your cold. I did, I dabbed, just like you taught no, me. No, I don't know. Yes, I did. <laughs> Apilla was expelled for vandalizing the mural, while Kevin went on to a prestigious painting academy. He became very successful, while she was just a wannabe artist who peaked in high school. Her only creative outlet was more vandalism, which made it nearly impossible to find a job. Convenience stores, restaurants, even pizza deliveries all denied her based on her troubled past. That is, until she stumbled onto a very special flyer. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
anyone, you say? And she finally found her place. She played a huge part of the kindergarten's early success. Many of the paintings that grace these walls were the work of Dear Apilla, and children flocked to see her colorful characters. Wait, so she was the one who designed all the characters? Man, there's Mamelina. I don't got a crush on Mamelina. I don't no, have a crush bro, on her. Bro, bro. She livened up the place, played with the children, and taught them about art. But when class sizes started to dwindle, Apilla knew the end of Ban Ban's kindergarten was near. But she was desperate. She couldn't lose this job. So she decided to speak with the principal directly. Excuse me, sir? I know things are looking bleak around here, but I want you to know that without, without this job, I don't know how I'll be able to buy groceries or pay, pay my rent. P please don't fire me. I'll do anything. Oh, don't worry, my dear Apella. It's been a pleasure having you as an employee. In fact, come with me and we'll make sure you never have to leave ever. Oh! He's saying, come with me and I'm going to turn you into a Ban Ban character. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. This is for your own good. No. I transformed her. I gave her a new oh! life. From that oh! on, she became our beloved Apilla Bird. You know, you might make a lovely test subject as well. I don't think so! <sighs> wow! <sighs> Run! That's crazy! No, please! Ah! Oh, now it's baby rainbow friends in Ban Ban's kindergarten. Okay, and they're playing. Hey, yo. Okay. 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 Oh, what? Oh, he's hungry. Hungry in the tummy. What? You can't eat those? You can't eat that! Don't ever do that! Don't do that, guys. That's not cool. Be cool. Yeah, guys. He pressed the drone button. Huh? You <laughs> do that. Little baby rainbow friend found the drone. What? No, don't open that. Don't open that. No, don't open up that door. Ever, guys. Ever. Here comes the pink birds. In the Garden of Bam is where you see it for the first time. Oh, no. No, no. I found the other room. Okay, that's good. This is sus, man. Don't do that. And they're gonna follow him. Don't. Oh, they're. Oh, yeah. They're gonna see the pink bird. Guys, watch out, please. This is where it lives. Nah, bro. Uh oh. Don't take those eggs. Don't, dude. Don't. Oh! Ah! Why did you do that? He ate the egg. Why would he take more? Oh. I fed him to that. Key card? <laughs> I don't know if that's how that Is that works. how that works? Is that how that works? I don't know, guys, because we eat eggs for breakfast all the time. And that's so how your mom makes them? <laughs> no! No! Uh, I don't understand, guys. I really don't know. All I'm going to say, it's a little bit sus and get merch at Walmart or Target. Wait! Huh? Huh? Don't eat that, bro. Don't eat that. Ew! <laughs> Why would you eat that? Yeah, they like it. They're looking for more. Hey, yo. We gonna feed him the chicken? Don't. You can't do that. Don't show this to Foxy. Now I know that's not how chickens Foxy says, stop it, Adam. This is silly. Guys, everyone be mature just like Foxy. No one laugh at be that. Be mature, bro. That's no one crazy. laugh at that. Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> He's looking for something to feed the bird. <laughs> Thinking. Guys, whatever happens, just don't laugh. <laughs> you just said don't laugh. 
Hey, you're good. Laugh at that. Really? <laughs> you laugh at that? This is so dumb. This, this is, is not dumb, dude. You guys, everyone, what, whatever happens, we're going to turn up the volume. We're going to make it nice and loud. Everyone watching, do not laugh. Listen to me. Turn up your TVs, Listen your iPads. This is baby boxy. Yeah. Where's yeah. his diaper, man? Uh, Where's his diaper, bro? He's always losing what? the diaper. Because hey, you don't take care of him, bro. I found it. I found it. I found it. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Hey! You're like the bird. You're like the bird, dude. All right, let's listen to this. Cookies. That doesn't even make sense. Huh? What? Hmm. <gasps> he fed him to his friends. That's me after a big meal. <laughs> what is this, guys? Uh, there's a 25% chance this is how stuff is made. Maybe. <laughs> oh, what's that? A key card? Wow. Well, nah. Don't feed that. What is that, a remote? <laughs> no. What is it? I don't even know what it is. What is it? <laughs> it's a remote, yep. Is it gonna be a TV that comes out? <laughs> <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense! It says you own. Among us. It's sus. That last video was sus. <laughs> it's Among Us and Garden of Bam Bam. It's Among Us versus Garden of Bam Bam. He's peeking. There's the, there's the bird. Pretty late. Okay, they're doing math or something. Be careful. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> ah! Jump scare. Oh, you got a key card. Nice. Use it. Whoa. No, over there. Yeah, over there. Over there. Yeah. Nice. Bloop. Nice. <gasps> drone. You got a drone. Okay, what's going to happen, guys? What are the crewmates going to do? This is so sus, dude. Very sus, guys. Who's the imposter? Is it the bird? Oh, no. Don't. <sighs> don't. Guys, don't ever open up that door. If you find a drone. Nah. Uh-oh. Why would you open that? Oh. Wait, the bird's nice? It's friendly. Oh, cool. Well, they gotta find the eggs. Yeah, looking for eggs. Scavenger hunt. This is so cool, guys. Yep. So the bird is actually nice. The bird's not gonna oof them. Get the eggy waggies. Why is it sitting like that? It wants to eat the eggs. Okay. Okay. Give him the eggs. There you go. Feed him the eggs. Yeah, give it to the bird. Okay. Press the button. Yep, that's how you get another egg. Oh, they missed. Oh, what? Missed again. Come on. It's not working. The button's not working. They broke it. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, no. Feed him. Nice. Key card? <laughs> oh, he's saying find the other eggs. Oh, got it. It's right by the seesaw. Yeah, there's a bunch. Nice job, nice, guys. Nice. nice teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. What's going to happen here, though? Okay, there's two. Nice. Key card. Oh, there's another button. Press that. Perfect. They turn on the power, but they broke oh, their drone. Oh, yeah. You have to try the power first. Are they going to throw the egg up there? No. Mm -hmm. They're going to throw each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got the last egg. There you go, birdie. Feed him. Feed him. Feed him, eat him. <laughs> A hammer. Nice. They made it out. Oh, this is where they get chased at him by the pink bird. Oh boy. It's not over. They're on to the next room, guys. Here we go. So you gotta do the color memory. Let's look a little bit sass. Very sus, guys. Here's the final video. We can we can do it. Let's look a little bit sass. Okay, they're going across. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh boy. Okay, nice. Now put in the colors. So the, among us, they literally play Garden of Bambi. I don't know. But they can't make it in. They gotta get the right colors. Huh? They need the orange key card, they're saying. Huh? Keep 
Pink card. card. Math equals MC squared. Oh, they got the colors. They got the colors. Green knows the colors. Nice. Nice. There's Bambolina. I've got a crush on Bambolina. I don't. That's a tap. No, it's not. Did it. Nice. They got it. Nice, nice. Great job, guys. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Okay, guys. Make your predictions. Who's going to get who first? Uh oh. SpaghettiOs. I'm going to guess. Uh, yellow. Hey, yo. Yeehaw. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That was pretty good. Only one of them moved. Nice. Get the car. Get out of there. Don't just stand there. Perfect. Nice. Get out of there, dude. Get out of there. Great job. Nice. Get out of there, bro. There we go. Oh, now it's time for Jumbo Josh, dude. Oh, no. Don't Jumbo Josh. Don't nah, get mad. Don't get mad at that's me. That's a mistake. Okay, here we go, guys. Don't. Don't. Uh oh. Don't. Sus, guys. Very sus. This is so sus. No! Oh, man. It's Jumbo Josh. Are they going to get eaten? The green one can blend in. Oh, they kicked them. Oh! This is the sad origin story of Chef Pigster from Garden Man Man 3. I told you the new guy was a freak. We're all freaks. I didn't think he would be this much worse. <laughs> My precious morsels. You're not gonna get away from me that easily. Oh my goodness, bro. Chef Pixter is so sus, bro. Wow, look at the way he runs, too. Sus, <laughs> sus. You're not gonna get away from me that easily. You'll be lunch before you know it. We should split up so at least one of us makes it. Fine, but you better come back for me. Got it? Oh. I'm not very heavy. I don't think this is gonna last. Any night, my lovely little meal. Oh! Uh, what the? Where am I? Oh my goodness, Chef Pigster turning Pinko Peelabur into some KFC! <laughs> Sus! <laughs> no! No, I am not about to become fried chicken! I'm not even a chicken! <laughs> Good luck getting out of that twine. You wouldn't be the first one who tried and failed. What are you doing with me? Isn't it obvious? After all, it's almost lunchtime. You can't eat me. I I'm another animal just like you. Where's your loyalty? Quiet. Soon this little flame will erupt into a massive campfire, and then you'll be supper. Look, look I, I don't understand why you're doing this. Like, there's there's plenty of food around the kindergarten. Like, I I I, I can get I can get you some eggs. I, I've got lots of those. Oh, my delicious little bird. That has never been enough to satisfy my cravings. Not even from the beginning. You guessed it. All of this is thanks to Ban Ban himself. Oh, my goodness, bro. So this pig always had four eyes, and Ban Ban locked him up for some reason, bro. Wow. Look Sus. at the little piggy. Sus. <laughs> Hold still, little piggy. No need to cry. Wee, wee, wee. He said wee, wee, wee. Oh my goodness. Oh! Ew. Stop! You see, I was born on a farm. Just like a normal piglet. Well, not a totally normal piglet. I was special. I was born deformed. With four eyes instead of two. Of course, it didn't hinder me. If anything, I could see twice as good. And my mother, she loved me anyway. Unfortunately, that wasn't true for everyone. What the, what is this thing? What did you do? You only had one piglet and it's this monster? I'll have you taken off to the slaughterhouse, you useless so. <sighs> Fine, I'll let you keep him for now. Bro, I don't even understand. That's crazy, bro. So this, what's, that's the mommy? That's the mom, and he's a pig that has four eyes, guys. That doesn't even make sense, dude. So that's the baby chef pigster? Mm-hmm. Its mom would be a cow, obviously. <laughs> I'll let you keep him for now. My mama saved my life that day. Both of our lives. 
but it didn't last long. Oh, you're coming with me. <sighs> I'm not taking you anywhere bad. I'm just getting you checked out by a vet. If you want to have more piglets, we don't want them turning out like that. I watched as the farmer led my mama off to the distance, loading her up in a truck. Of course, I couldn't read since I was a piglet, but I had a bad feeling about it. Oh my goodness, bro. He about to turn his own mommy into some bacon. Wow. So his mom's about to go oof, guys. That's crazy, bro. So now Chef Pixter's all by himself. That was the last time I ever saw her. Don't worry about your mama, kid. You'll be seeing her again. Pretty darn soon. What? Yeah. I had no choice but to run away. Sticking around was certain death, and I had nothing left to stay for anyway. I didn't stop running for miles. A little pig didn't belong in the big city, but I had no choice. It gave me a place to hide. I was too young to fend for myself. I had no mama left to feed me, so I did what pigs do. I ate trash. That is so sad and super sus, but I thought Stinky Joel was the one who ate trash. We'll put a clip on the screen. Why is Chef Pixter doing that? Oh, I wonder what he's gonna find in the trash. I couldn't find anything edible until I got to the very bottom. Nah. That's where I struck gold. Uh -huh. Little did I know this was about to change me. That was the best meal I'd ever had in my short life. I couldn't just stop there. I needed more of this deliciousness. What? Eventually, trash stopped doing it for me. Luckily, it's a big city. Lots of opportunity, if you get what I mean. That is, if you know where to look. It's a tilt! <laughs> and it's on sale. What? <gasps> what? Surprisingly, I wasn't a bad chef. It could use a little more seasoning. But my taste for chicken trumped my desire for a little garlic powder. I'd finally figured out how to live the good life. But then, the unexpected happened. Oh! I was kidnapped! I had no idea who captured me or where I was going. But I would find out soon enough. Man, so that's crazy. It learned to live on its own and it was cooking all sorts of food. It became a chef. But then Bam Bam found him and swooped him up. But why did Bam Bam do that? Here, little pig. Welcome, little fellow. Aren't you glad to be inside after all those nights out on the streets? A big city's no place for a little pig. Poor thing. I have a feeling people have been pretty unkind to you, huh? They must have called you a freak? Treated you like an outcast? What if I told you you'd never have to feel like that again? Do you trust me, little piggy? To be honest, I didn't. But the promise of a better life was too sweet to turn down. Here, I can change you, but not the way you think. No, I won't take away those freakish eyes of yours. I'll do one better. Hold still, little piggy. No need to cry, wee wee wee. And the rest was history. Ow! Oh! What? What have you done to me? I'm more of a freak than ever. Wait, I can talk? Exactly. You're more of a freak. And now you can fit in with the others. And you can speak. Don't be scared. Look how big your mouth is now. And right next to your stomach, too. All the better to eat with, no? He was right about that. My favorite pastime would be even better now. I could do more than eat. I could devour. Thank you, Ban Ban. This... This is wonderful. All in a day's work. And from then on, I would live a much happier life. Or so I thought. I became the chef for all the colorful characters of Ban Ban's kindergarten. It was just wonderful. I learned how to cook all kinds of special dishes. Not chicken, though. We can never get any in stock. Oh, how I missed my delicious chicken. But apparently, I manifested my dreams coming true. Hello, what can I get you? Just lettuce sounds great. Right, lettuce. My instincts took over, <gasps> and I just couldn't help myself. I needed my chicken. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> I have heard Justin and Foxy say that many, many times. Where the tilk? <laughs> Chef Picture was getting along with everyone, but he wanted to eat some tilk. That's not a tilk, dude. We all know that's a duck. Mm-hmm. Get away 
from me! But and I think that just about brings us up to speed. Finally! Looks like story time's over, bird brain. Now it's time to get to the main course. Look, I, I know you're hungry. I, I can help you find something that'll taste way better than me. I can help you find a real chicken! What? No need. You! Don't you know better than to interrupt someone during their meal? Sorry, Pigster. You're gonna have to go to bed without dinner tonight. Whoa! You dodged it! <laughs> oh, she's free! Save the life, man! Man, I'm on fire! Stop, drop, and roll! Take this! Any last words, Ban Ban? Cause you're about to be mincemeat! I don't have anything to say to you, but I do have something to show you. What? What is that? I think you know exactly what it is. Chicken! My dear chicken! Is that you? You want it? Come get it! Slow down! The crispy exterior! The spices! The salty meat! It's even better than I remember! Apollo, shoot him now while he's distracted! Huh? Uh oh. Now come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Bruh. Ah! Now this is an actual secret camera in the back rooms. That's the pink bird we just saw. What is that? Ew. Okay, so the pink bird's sleeping. What is that? And why is he in the back rooms? What is that? Slow Celine's brother? Is he hungry for eggs? Sus. Yep. Don't steal the baby eggs from the mommy bird. That's me. Is he gonna eat that egg? Don't. Oh. What? <gasps> What's he doing? Oh, he did eat it. Don't do that. You gonna do it with another one? Oh my goodness. What is that thing? Slow Celine's mom? Wow. The bird just woke up two minutes later and realized it lost his egg. Yo! This is real footage in the back rooms of the pink bird from Garden of Bam Bam. So someone recorded this with their iPhone or something. I feel so sad. It lost its babies. Aww. I feel sad. Poor pink bird. It's gonna get revenge, bro. It's gonna get revenge. Score! Okay, here we go, guys. It's looking for the eggs. Five Fire. minutes later. Oh, it's coming back for more. Don't do that. The pink bird knows you're gonna come. It's gonna oof you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sass. What's gonna happen here, guys? What is that? It's a boom boom. It's a trick. Yo, the pink bird knew. <laughs> no! <laughs> now this is super crazy, guys. This is it. Among Us crewmates were in Garden of Bama Chapter 2. So this is where you wake up in the Garden of Bama Chapter 2. There's Jumbo Josh in the elevator. They're going to play the whole game. No way. Yeah. That's insane, yes, guys. Yes, yes way. Here we go. Yes way. Can the crewmates make it out of the Garden of Bam Bam? There's oh, Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Sucks. Oh, it's for the vent. Oh, they love venting. Guys, Among Us can vent. Guys. What's that? Stinger Flynn? No way. Stinger Flynn. This is Guardian Man Chapter 3. They got tied up, bro. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They got uh -oh. tied up. That's Stinger Flynn? <gasps> He's gonna oof him with, like, a battle bot. <laughs> I'm so funny, man. You're right, man. Here we go. Oh, they stopped it. They broke it. Kablooey. Stinger Flynn's angry. Now they're blasting Stinger Flynn. Oh my goodness. Among Us versus Stinger Flynn. Get him. Yo! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Yikes! Ew. Got it! We got squished. Yuck! Ouch. Yucky! So they beat Captain... Or I mean Stinger Flynn. Yeah, and now here's the pink bird. Squaw! They're why gonna is, beat all the monsters. Why Ew. is it like oof? Did Chef Picture do that? Why do they take a selfie with it? Ew. Sus. Ew. Uh oh. Oh, it's Captain Fiddles, and he's looking so sus slobbery. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh, they gotta fight both of them. Oh. Got him. Oh. Watch out. Oh! <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out for that thing! Sus. Yo! Will they be able to fight new Garden Man Chapter 3 monsters like Chef Pixar, though? 
Ah, oh, it was a good attack. Yeah, look at that slobber. Ew. Oh, he ran into the bird. They knocked each other out. Run. Oh, they're gonna team up now. Oh, he tripped. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Blues or green is oof. Got him. Got him. Oh, are they gonna be friends with Pink Bird? Yeah, 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 yeah. They took out his tongue. What? Hey, yo. Ew. Sus. Okay. They're gonna oof. Threw something at him. Oh. They're gonna go fight him. Whoa, cool. Cool. Nice. What's next? That was unneeded. What is this? Guy Manage had a three map? We've never seen this. It's Ban Ban yet again, bro. Looking sus. And he put lasers everywhere and drones. Oofing drones. Wow. They gotta fight all the drones. They did it. Fix electrical. More drones. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. More drones, I'm gonna get ice cream cones out. <laughs> Adam, what do you think about this? I think that they're going to get stopped when they reach Nab Nab. It's Babelina. Adam has a huge crush on Babelina. I don't have a crush on her. Yes, he does. Oh my goodness. It's upgraded drones. Oh, they're getting new. Oh, he woke him up with some water. Oh, smart. They got a blast for now. Nice. Smart, smart, smart. Okay. Nice. They're gonna get oof Bambolina. <gasps> She's gone. Adam has, a, Adam has a huge crush on Bambolina. What are they doing? Yo, it's Bambolina and Bam Bam. Oh no. They're probably on a date. No, they're not. Adam has a huge crush on Bambolina. No, I don't, Adam guys. Has on Adam has a huge crush on Bambolina. She was W posing for Walmart and Target. Yes, guys, get the Lanky Box merch at Walmart and Target. Here we uh -oh. go, guys. Uh oh, I don't even know what's going on, dude. It's like a hacker battle. What? Nice. The lights go out and they do the fighting. Bonk. Oh, yo! Nice. Bam Bam's nuts. Nice! Did they win? Oh! Hey, yo! Okay. Now, Chef Pigster plus Nab Nab. What is this going to look like? Chef Nab Nab. Oh, no. Please, no. Sussy. Sussy. Ew. Oh. Oh. Ew. Oh. Now it's going to be Bam Bam plus Nab Nab. Nab Nab. Oh, this is so sus. Three eyes. And he's like doing like a dab. That is insane. Nab nab plus a tank equals what? A nab what tank? What is this? What? Hey, yo, is that Choo Choo Charles's mom? No way. That is so sus. Bambolina. Granted, has a huge cuss on. Bambolina plus nab nab. Oh, no way. No way. Please it's don't. Nab nabolina. Three eyed bambolina. Oh! Nabalina. That's what I said, dude. Now it's Captain Fiddles plus Nab Nab. Here we go, guys. What are they gonna look like? Sus. Okay, that one actually looks okay. Kinda looks like me. That's lit! It's Jumbo Josh and Bam Bam. Oh, this music's lit. Yo, is that Roblox Door's eyes? No way. We're gonna watch the whole story, guys. Get ready. Blue Rainbow Friend. What is that? It is eyes! Wow. Oh, cool. Oh no, it just infected them with EXE. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They got corrupted, they turned evil. No! Did he just eat the Roblox Doors entity? He infected him. Blue Rainbow Friend cannot believe what he just saw. This is insane, guys. Shout out these videos, they'll be linked down below. All these videos will be linked down below. Yo, Cat Fiddles is working out. Uh-oh, watch so out. Oh, cool. No, no. Uh-oh, don't infect him, no! He's gonna eat him. He's not gonna infect him, he's gonna eat him. Hey yo! Oh, 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 oh. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Ketchup! 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 Yo, he dips him in ketchup. And he's about to dip the bird in some ketchup for some pants. Oh, he's Bam busy. Bamba got oof Bambolina. Hey yo! Oh wow! What is that grape jelly? 
What? He took the bird and some ketchup, bro. Yes, guys. Look at the oof ketchup. This is sus. This is so sus. Stinger Flame cannot believe it. So, Ban Ban and Jumbo Josh have been infected. <gasps> this music is lit. This story is so sad. Okay, but now here comes Red Rainbow Friend, Orange Rainbow Friend. They might be hearing what's going on. They're probably like, where did our friends go? They see everything. They see all... Um, Oh, it, oh, rewind that. Bam, man, just ate Stinger Flynn like some spaghetti. Look at that. Look, oh, look. look at that spaghetti sauce. Oh, spaghetti sauce. Bro, it's tomato sauce. Oh. Ew, Jumbo Josh. Sussy. Dude, don't do this, man. What was that? Oh, my goodness. Cat wow. Balls. This is so messed up. Oh, there's Blue. He's saying, guys, come over here. Okay. Come on. I cannot believe this is all because of Doors Entities. Exactly, guys. Get Lanky Box merch at Walmart and Target. Here we go. What's going to happen with the he's, Rainbow he's, Friends? He's just hide here with me. Oh, uh-oh. There goes Jumbo Josh up the stairs. No way. Sus. Oh, Bambolina Bam, has she the got, She got the Cross Effects. Yo. Nice. No, she got infected. It's too late. It's uh -oh. too late. It's too late. It's too late. Who is that? Jumbo Josh. Yup. It's Jumbo Josh. Guys, at the end of the video, we'll open up some Lanky Box mystery figures. Guys, this is sussy. Stick listen, around listen, for that. Listen to the music. Oh, ketchup! Ew! That was me right there. Woo! This is like a flashback to Bambolina. Wait, she did use the crux fix. Nice. But they must have broken free. Bam Bam got rid of the crux fix. Oh, no way. He's too strong. He's too... Hey, yo. What's he doing? That's insane. What's he doing? What? Oh, what? Hey! Hey! Oh! So Stinger Flynn became infected, and then he came out of Bandman's stomach, and now they're, like, combined. When you saw him eat Stinger Flynn earlier, that's what happened. Yeah, now he has, like, Stinger Flynn whiskers. This is disgusting. Wait, the bird just came back to life. Oh, no way. They're all coming back to life. Okay, so all the all the creatures that got evil oop, they're now coming back as evil infected monsters. Wow. Sus. Nice. Okay, there's the noob. He got three crux affixes. We got boyfriend and Pibby. No way. Are boyfriend and Pibby gonna bring everyone back to normal? Pibby gotta fight him, bro. Dude, yep. the crux affixes don't work. Bambolian already tried. Yep. Here we go, guys. This is a huge situation where you got... Oh, it's sick. This is so sus, man. He's they're, gonna run in they're there. They're all just hiding in there. You think you're safe in there? Are you crazy? You are crazy if you think you're safe from Bambolina and Jumbo Josh. Nah, oh, Bambolina moved. <gasps> this is the ketchup scene we saw earlier. Ketchup! Ew, ketchup! Bro. Oh, oh, she got infected. Yep. This is so sus, guys. If you see Jumbo Josh doing this, run. Okay, so now his boyfriend and Pibby and the noob are coming in. Uh -huh. Guys, the story's nuts. All of this will be linked down below. It's crazy. Oh, there's Captain Fiddles. Yes, guys. Paper. Remember, keep watching. We'll open some of these up. Oh, no way. Oh, my goodness, bro. They just tried to leave. He said, you're not going anywhere. He closed the door. Yeah. He said, he said you're not going anywhere. Yep, exactly, guys. That's Seek. This is sus. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's Jumbo so Josh scary. knows they're there. He knows they're there. It's over. It's over. It's all over, guys. Uh-oh. It's all over. Are the guys. rainbow friends going to get infected now? It's all over. Goodbye, everybody. Unless someone saves them. <gasps> oh! Ew! 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 I gotta dance the sussy away, bro. Oh, get that out of your system, man. Yeah, get that out of your system, bro. <laughs> So this is what happened, guys. At the very start, we'll put a clip on screen. When Jumbo Josh ate the door's eyes, mm -hmm. it infected him from the inside out, bro. Dude, that's gross. That is so sus. Yep, yep, yep. 100%. This is 100% sus. They're all infected now. Oh, wait. Everyone just got oofed in ketchup? Ew. Uh-oh. Bambolina, you could do it. Wait, what? What is this? She took some oof. And she put it on her eyes. Stop this video, dude. Ew! Stop this video.
video is put ketchup on her eyeballs. Don't ever put ketchup in your eyes, guys. That's a bad idea. This is so sus. If you do that, you'll have tomato vision. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Ever. This is so sus, guys. Now, we're just going to think right here for a second. Okay. How do you think this is going to end, bro? Everybody's getting infected. Do you think boyfriend, Pibby, and the noob can stop everyone? There's no way. The noob does have three crucifixes. I bet they're going to use those items to, like, turn everyone back to normal. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, man. I really went there. <laughs> I would say you're wrong. <laughs> what I, do you think is going to happen? I think everyone's going to get infected, but Pibby Glitch is going to take over the universe. <laughs> And Pibby's gonna stop them all. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, let I guess me, we'll let find me out. Ask Boxy the boat. All right, we got Boxy and Foxy here. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Foxy says, I think it's, everyone's gonna get oofed. How about you, Boxy? Uh, I, I, I think everyone is gonna, um, and then, um, um, and then I think, um, and then, um, Pibby, and, um, um, and then, um, um, and then, um, what? And then, um, um, and then, they're, Boxy. And then they're gonna, um, um, yeah. Boxy, that I agree with Boxy. Let's see how this ends, bro. See, sus. Boxy's prediction came true. You're right. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, he's like, here, take a crucifix. What? Okay, they. Okay, they're gonna try and use this on Seek. Nice. They got a triple crucifix attack. <gasps> That's three times the crucifix. It can't get out. No, of that. he 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 got rid of it. He, he laughed him. He said. <laughs> He's like, is that all you got? <laughs> I cannot believe this, bro. He broke free. Seek broke free. All right, guys. Now we're back here. So it's like a flashback. Seek breaks free. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's about to start acting sus. Wait. So I think actually Captain Fiddles and the bird are trying to defend them. Because they're going like this. Like, you can't get to them. Oh, yeah. They're protecting them. Why would they do that, though? I don't oh, get it. Or they're T-posing. Oh. Yep, yep, guys, go to Target. Go to Walmart. Make sure to get the merch and T pose. Do that for at least one minute. And then do the Foxy dance. Yes, guys. For one minute, at least. <laughs> okay, they better just, they're either Pibby glitched or they went to Target and Walmart. Oh, oh my goodness, Seek is going to Target and Walmart, bro. Wow. He's W posing like he went to Walmart, bro. Sus. <laughs> oh my goodness, he just spawned a million seek eyes. This is so disturbing. Ew! Oh, ketchup. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all the hands. Ew! All the hands are in the house. What? How is this gonna end? How is this even possible? <gasps> what? Miss Lemons is here? Secret character unlocked! What is she gonna do? Oh my goodness, she's. Oh my goodness, she's evil. What is this? Oh, Mr. Tomatoes? No I, way. I said, you, I said you'd have tomato vision. Yup, exactly. They got tomato vision like some french fries right now. How'd oh, you know that, baby. man? Oh, bro. Wait, where is he? Where's the new... In Garden of Ban Ban. Yup, yup, you called There's it. There's ketchup falling from the sky. You called it, man. Oh my Wow. Nab -nab. Wow. It's Nab Nab. And what's he doing? That looks a lot like the Walmart logo. He's W posing right now. Always, guys. Always. Guys, that is so sus. He just ate some ketchup. There's the birdies. They missed their mommy. Wait. Jumbo Josh. No way. Oh my goodness. Stop! How is this gonna end? There's the birdie babies. They see Jumbo Josh. What is he gonna turn him into some KFC? I think so. Oh no. Hey yo, stop! And there's there's stop. Seek stop. inside stop. of stop. him. Stop. Oh, somebody stopped him. Good. Is that Huh? Oh, it's the mom. It's the corrupted mom. Oh wait, sure. Yo, Sheriff Toaster, is that the day? Oh and he has a lasso because he's a sheriff. This is crazy, bro. A slow Celine. What? Is she evil or nice? I think she's nice. Uh oh, I don't think so. <laughs> she does that face that you always do. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Brit? There's Bambolina. Bambolina versus Miss Lemons? <laughs> Look, that's me right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh my goodness, there's Nab Nab. Slow Celine, save him. Wow. Slow Celine, save him. What is that, Captain Fiddles? 
Cat Fiddles just oofed to save him. Oh my goodness. No way. This is heartbreaking. Just oof to save him. He knew he'd be oof, and now catch up time. Oh, well said. Uh, wow. What, but what if he was not oof? Here comes all the Captain Fiddles, babies. <gasps> They're gonna oof nap nap. They say run. Run, get out of there. Purple says, okay, I'll go on. He's out of there with noob. Here we go. Oh my goodness. They're like almost like dancing. Uh -oh. Huh? to catch up. Man. Nab Nab's too strong. Catch up fiddles. Man, he really must have had some french fries. Now guys, how is this going to end? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's what? Yeah, there's all the little cabin fiddles that are covered in ketchup. Okay, Nab here we go. Them. This is so crazy. How will this end? This is not good. There's Nab Nab, he's back on it. Okay, we got Sheriff Toaster versus Jumbo Josh. Sus. There we go. He said, get out of here with your babies. Oh, he got the crutchy fix. No way. What? He merged it with his lasso. He got, oh my goodness. Sheriff Toaster is nuts. You're right, man. You're so right. Ew, oh my goodness. Oh, you, 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 you. Oh my ew. goodness, bro. Ew. Oh my goodness, bro. Seek is coming out of there, bro. Oh, oh, dude. Imagine Seek was like in you. And they just like crawled out. And now they're, they're on slow Celine. What? This is sus. Okay. Then we got, was that a sword? <gasps> Yo, it's the Ultra Cruxifix. Wow. Okay, what are they seeing? Oh my god. Chef Pigster! Oh my goodness. So all the Garden Man Chapter 3 characters are gonna help them. <gasps> Wait, that's Miss Lemon. That's her bell. Oh, hello there, and welcome to my class. It's a place where I test young minds like yours and try to find out how smart people can actually be and reward them if they are worthy. So, let's find out how smart you really are. Okay. Let's get started. Sus. Nice. But the music's lit. Mr. Tomatoes. I am very glad that you decided to help me. I would like you to feed me because I'm very hungry and I can't eat on my own. Yo! Oh. Hey, yo! After watching all that, that's what I have to say. <laughs> Listen to me, guys. Listen very close. <laughs> I bet I just cracked the case. Mr. Tomatoes and Miss Lemons were behind all this. Uh huh. Because they were making tomato sauce. Uh huh. Everywhere. Uh huh. It's Mr. Mr. Tomato's fault behind all of us. Yep. This is the final part, guys. This is the end. There's no turning back now. We have to see how this ends. There's no turning back in life. There's Sheriff Toadster. <sighs> Who's gonna win here? Chef Picture, please help everyone. <gasps> Can he oof Nab Nab? Chef Picture versus Nab Nab. This is crazy. Okay, that's an impossible. No one knows the answer to that. No one knows the answer to that. Uh oh. No one knows the answer to that. Right, no, it's not zero. He's got jump scared. He's oh my! Oh, he lost one of his eyes. Oh my goodness! And it's Seek versus Chef Toadster. Seek is not even gonna fight Chef Toadster. Hey, yo! I mean, Sheriff Toadster. Here we go. Chef Toadster just got oofed. Chef Pigster, here we go. He's thick. Sheriff Pigster is on his way. Thick like thick shark, guys. Walmart and Target. But way creepier. Okay, Pibby's playing Mr. Tomatoes, feeding them. Okay, they're making oof sauce, exe sauce. Okay. Ew, don't feed him that. Yo, he just corrupted. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Gross. Somebody tell me what's going on. Slow Celine. Nice. Okay. They're gonna assemble the Master Cruxifix. This is it, guys. How is this thing gonna end? Ew! What was he that? He just took off the shell. But they're all gonna hide. Ew! Oh. Yeah, no, that's a good plan. No one will look there. Wow! Sussy! Now what is this? Secret video. Oh, it's Lanky Boxing Friday Night Funkin' and that's, that's the baby glitch. That's annoying orange. I never realized you think the orange knows Miss Lemon? It's Foxy, and you're right. <gasps> okay. It's Sticky and Candy versus Poppy? Wow, Lanky Box. Yeah! Nice job, guys. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's me! Versus Mommy Long Legs. Justin is in Friday Night Funkin'? Oh, oh, oh. Freddy 
very fast reverse lanky bot. Do the lanky Bro. bot. Lanky bot is so lit. The rare squishy. Huggy Wuggy versus who's this? Donut. Donut. Sauce. Is it just a donut? Like Foxy's donut? <laughs> Fuck, that's my donut friend. Give me a donut. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy. Is Adam in this? Is Boxy? They must be. Oh my goodness, it's Ghosty. Ghosty versus the evil llama. Oh my goodness. Oh man. How did we get put in Friday Night Funkin' because of this video? Someone hacked us in. Don't hack me in. There's Ghosty! Aww, the way she's holding the mic. Ghosty glows in the dark, guys. This is so lit. This is awesome. Uh-oh. Come on, Foxy, you can do it. I can take him. I can handle him. <laughs> Yo, it's Adam! It's Adam! Yo, what's that? The evil rabbit bunny. It's Boxy. Bye -bye. Versus Sonic. Sonic .exe. Nice job, Boxy. Nice. It's Thick Shark, man. Always thick, guys. So thick. always lit. Versus Man of the Adventure. It's Milky. Milky Mouse. Milky, Milky versus PJ Pugapillar, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's us in Roblox. Versus Piggy. It's Rocky. Rocky Rocks. Time to rock and roll. Yo, this is crazy, dude. Song's almost over, guys. Here we go. Look at those teeth. Yeah. Yeah!